Good morning students. In this session we are going to discuss about energy resources. What is energy? In physics, energy is a quantitative property that must be transferred to an object in order to perform work on or to heat the object. And energy is a conserved quantity. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can be converted in form but not created or destroyed. And here I provided a some video link related with the energy. Now, so energy is the capacity to do work and the first form of energy is fire. This may get it from the form of wood, coal, oil and some other alternative energy. And here I have provided a tag of question. What are the alternative sources of energy? Please give your own perception. And what are the uses of energy? It is used in industrial purpose, diagnostic purpose, transport and technology. And the classification of energy is renewable and non-renewable. Under the category of renewable, solar energy, air, wind, water, tides, flowing, soil, plants, and non-renewable is fossil fuels, oil, coal, natural gas, metallic minerals, iron, copper, aluminium, non-metallic minerals, salt, phosphates. Renewable resources. Use again and again in a exhaustible regenerated continuously. And the merits of renewable resources are unlimited supply, provides energy security, fits into sustainable life, eco friendly, and no emission of toxic gases. Here I provide a link later with the renewable resources. Please have a look at them. The first category of renewable is solar energy, the energy obtained from the sun, and it is in the form of heat. The methods to harvest solar cell solar water heater, solar heat collectors. And here I provide a question. Please give the name of some of the methods to harvest solar energy. Solar cell, it is nothing but it's a consist of two components that is P-type and N-type. And solar is forms on the P-type semiconductors with panel put on the P-type semiconductor and the electron jumps from the P-type to the N-type with the PN junction diode. And this is where the junction where the two uh, type of uh, semiconductor gate connector and the potential difference generated between these two junctions can be generated and it causes electricity. Wind energy, the merits and demerits are uh, listed here and the merits are number one, high efficiency, moderate capital cost, no carbon dioxide emission and the demerits are steady wind rates, visual pollution and noise is greater. Here I provided another question. How much amount of energy is produced in Tamil Nadu using wind energy? Please give the correct information related with that. Tide energy. The energy obtained from the tides of ocean and tides obtained from the gravitational force of earth and sun. High tide sea water is allowed to flow into the barrier and put the turbine. Low tide sea water in the barrier returned to the sea and rotate the turbine. The merits are not require large area, inexhaustible and pollution free. Renewable energy sources. Geothermal. The energy formed due to high temperature and high pressure stream fields exist below the Earth's surface. Temperature increases at a rate of 20 to 75 degrees Celsius per kilometer. And examples are hot water, molten rock, etc. And here I provided a link for the renewable resource, particularly geothermal energy. Biomass energy. And this is the energy obtained by the organic matter for plants, animals, and crop residues. And the biogas is nothing but the mixture of methane, corn dioxide, hydrogen sulfates. Biofuel is nothing but ethanol and methanols. And the advantages are does not burn fossil fuels, fuels obtained are clean burning, are available throughout the world. Disadvantages are plant cost is costly, required possible space. And here I provide the question is the biomass energy is efficient or not? Please provide your answers. Fuel cells. It is environmental friendly, extracting human hydrogen eff efficiently. And hydrogen oxygen fuels in the aim of dollar plus 1 2.8 volt. And the advantage are produce more water, low environmental effect, and disadvantages are not found in nature. Non renewable resources, mainly fossil fuels, cannot be regenerated, used only once, exhausted, finite in quantity. Example coal, gold, petroleum, and natural gas. Coal or soil fuels found in several stages, remains of land. Plants that lived 300 to 400 million years ago, subject to intense heat and pressure over millions of years. 
mostly common in small amount of sulfur to present as a coal color. And here I uh, pressurize the stages of coal and increasing heat and carbon content. Please have it for them. And please provide an answer for this question. The question is, which type of coal has a high calorific value? And the next non renewable resource is oil and natural gas, decay of dead animals in plants in ocean, muddy rocks, sandstone at the top of shade, primary compounds in hydrocarbon, in natural gas, methane, in oil, number of hydrocarbons. And here I provide another question, please provide the answer for this. So the question is, what are the fractions of oil in coins? It's very simple. And the next thing is natural gas. About 50 to 90 was ether and small amount other hydrocarbons. And the calorific value is equal to 12,000 to 14,000 kilocalories per meter cube. And the dry gas, there is nothing but natural gas with low hydrocarbons. Wet gas is nothing but natural gas with higher hydrocarbons. Next is oil. Fractional distillation of crude oil. Crude oil is separated into different fractions based on the volume of the fractional distillation. 67% oil dissolves, 27 oil dissolves oil in something. What is the percentage of petroleum oil in the world? This is your question now. Nuclear energy. This is the energy obtained from nuclear reactions. Neutron strikes with the nuclear or can release a lot of amount of energy. And further, the nuclear reaction gets segregated into two types one is nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. For more information, please click on this link. Nuclear fusion is nothing but in which the nucleus is divided into two or more fragments and the neutrons and energy are released. And these neutrons in turn get trigger the other nucleus. And the process keep on repeating, and this we use to call as a chain reaction and a self controlled emit radioactive isotopes and neutrons. Please name the substance used in battle box and nuclear reactors. Nuclear fusion it is nothing but fusion of two lighter nuclei into heavy nuclei, and it cannot be controlled and emit less amount of neutrons and do not emit radioisotopes. Example is hydrogen. What are the methods of disposing of natural based? Natural waste should be buried under the earth, closely packed. Waste are packed in the steel containers. Conservation of energy. And here I provided some information related to the energy conservation. And here is a link provided. Please have it on there. And this is nothing but the pictorial representation you are going to the age of decentralized micro power. Case study. Chernobyl decline incident from the US South. It is offered in April 26, 1996. One of the four reactors export immediate death was equal to 31 numbers, and 160,000 people evacuated. 24,000 evacuees received high dose of radiation, thyroid cancer in children, damaged reactor end pump in concrete. Other reactors returned to service within a month. Eventually, remaining reactors out of service. Case study of uh, Yucca Mountain. The 1982 Congress called for a high level radioactive disposal site to the center by March 1987 and to be completed by 1998. Final site selection occurred in 1989 and Yucca Mountain, Nevada, not to be completed before 2015. Waste stored and fall in one place. In the possible long term groundwater contamination, critics contend it is safer to store waste at existing nuclear power plant. And the third case study is Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania. Submitted in March 28, 1979. No death, very little radiation entered. Public relations disaster. Thank you.